And the Bible said they cried to the Lord. Now there you are. That's the key. And it's a little simple word. In her, the song of Deborah, there are eight major songs in the Bible other than the songs in the Psalms. Eight major songs. And, and in her song, she, she tells the story, as they often did, of this great victory in this fifth chapter of Judges. And Israel in trouble, and Israel hurting, and Israel deprived of their inheritance. Israel not having what God had promised them. It was not a land of milk and honey. Oh, it was a land of milk and honey, but enemies took it. Enemy, enemies stole it away, and enemies left God's chosen people deprived and hurting and wounding. And they cried to the Lord. This is your answer. And I, I hurt inside. I grieve inside. But the church today is crying to other sources. I know you think I'm, it's a crack record and the needle sticks on it. But this is the sin of the church. They do not believe that Jesus delivers. They do not believe the captive can be set free. They do not believe that by the power of the Holy Ghost, great and glorious things can be done. But that's the very heart of the church. That's the very bedrock of the church. That's our foundation. That this is not a philosophy, but it is a man, Christ Jesus. And he's a miracle worker. He's a deliverer. He's a blind man healer. He's a leper cleansing man. He's a soul saver. He's a baptizer in the Holy Ghost. That is the very business of the church. It's to set the captive free. It's not to build pretty buildings. It's not to serve as a style show on a Sunday morning. It is not to confer educational degrees. But the church is to preach the gospel to the poor. And that means the meek. It's to heal the brokenhearted. It's to preach deliverance to the captives. Recovering of sight to the blind. And to set at liberty them that are bruised. But today the church is the biggest referral agency in the world. It refers the couple that's having a marriage problem to the marriage counselors. It refers the drunk to Alcoholics Anonymous with its 12-step atheistic paganistic program. It refers the drug addict to some therapy unit. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? The favorite phrase in the church today is, you need professional help. Meaning some dirtbag airhead that doesn't know any more about it than you know about it. Am I being clear enough? I hope you're understanding my terminology because I get a little bit righteous indignation swells up in me. But it's not the business of the church to just plop down in the middle of the town. The, the, the world out there should refer their drunks to us. They should refer their drug addicts to us. They should refer those that are bound by sin to us. Because Jesus said, I have come that I will set the captive free. Isaiah prophesied and said, he will open the prison doors and let the prisoner go free.